Hey you guys, what's up? Uh, Cam Kane, Grass-Fed Marketing. Uh, so yesterday I had a really great conversation with a farmer, um, and in the in that conversation, you know, we were talking about sales, about how to grow sales, how to sell more beef, and this farmer brought up something that is pretty common and that I hear pretty frequently from farmers and I don't think it's unique to farmers I think most people who are just starting in business or who have been in business for a while but who have not yet achieved the level of success that they desire and that, or that they believe they could um, share this also and it's this mindset uh, or belief that they're not motivated by money that money does not excite them that they you know it does not that they don't want to focus on the money that they don't want to make a bunch of money right and what I hear specifically all the time is I'm just not motivated by money and I'll, I just wanted to say a few things about that one um, that might be true and it might be true of all different types of people but I've never heard someone who has excess money who has really achieved a high level of financial success I've never heard someone who has a lot of money say I'm not motivated by money um, so take that for what you know I, I don't know what that means I am not interpreting that at all I just have never heard it before I have not um, in in my you know in the last almost 15 years of advising mentoring coaching uh, high-level entrepreneurs and CEOs and executives I've never heard that from someone who has a lot of money so um, yeah uh, take that for what it is the second thing and this is right like the root of my thought is that you don't have to be motivated by money you don't have to want to make a lot of money in order to succeed that does not have to be your driving force in fact I would say for most people it's not their driving force the thing that gets them to take the actions to produce the massive actions that ultimately provide the results right of success it's not typically money it's not driven by money it's not driven by a desire for wealth rather it's driven by desire for freedom and independence and and for me that's true personally is that is why I strive that is why I do the work that I do and I take the actions that I do that produce financial results it's because I am motivated by freedom and independence and I know that is something that only money can give me and so I don't focus on the money I don't say here's a dollar amount that I want to make or even like here's this boat that I want to go buy or this beautiful new home and there's nothing wrong with that by the way it just doesn't work for me and if it doesn't work for you then maybe you could try this on try on what I do um, instead right because yeah all of all of those things are nice and we certainly um, you know we have nice things and we take nice vacations and it's an incredible blessing it's an incredible blessing but we don't have nice things and we don't take nice vacations because I'm focused on money it's because I'm focused on freedom and independence I want to have complete control over my time I want complete freedom to do whatever it is that I want or what or whatever it is that people need me to do that my family that my wife that my children that my parents that my siblings need me to do right and that freedom to do what I'm asked to, to help where I can to lift where I stand is made possible and only possible because of financial independence because of financial success and I think so don't worry if you're not motivated by money that doesn't mean that you'll never success and you'll never have success or you'll never achieve the level of financial success that would would provide you the benefit of freedom and independence because just because you haven't achieved it yet doesn't mean you won't 
And sometimes all we need in order to have our own, like a breakthrough, like often the only thing between us and where we want to go is one breakthrough. And that breakthrough typically is, it's the right thought at the right time. It's, it's having something that we struggle with reframed for us. It's an idea, an aha moment, right? This light bulb that goes off and all of a sudden everything changes. Um, and so, you know, that's why I make these videos. I hope that if, if there's just one person, right? And so far I've made hun literally hundreds of videos now um, just in the last six months. And if there's only one person that experiences a breakthrough or that is able to take something that I've learned and shared and use it to change their life um, or use it to even just get into momentum so that they can begin changing their life, then, then I count myself and I count these videos a success. I count all of the, well, at this point, the thousands of hours of work that I've put in to creating, you know, videos and blog posts and emails and podcasts to encourage and inspire and uplift. Um, I count those all as time very well spent, as time extremely well invested. If there's just one person that benefits. And so um, I guess the, the moral of today of, of this video is if you're not motivated by money, don't worry. Most of us are not. And yet, most of the people who ultimately achieve massive success and how I'm defining success is ultimate freedom and independence. So most of the people who achieve ultimate freedom and independence to live their life exactly how they want, um, they don't get there and they did not get there because they were motivated to make money. Okay, So focus on the thing that is that is motivating. Focus on the thing that is what you really want. And you'll find that money ends up being a byproduct. Um, you know, and I'll also just, to flip this around, there, there's, a, there's a couple quotes, let me see if I can remember them, that I really, that I enjoy, that talk about money in a different way. And I, I just, this is like the devil's advocate part of me. Like I just... Now, I appreciate being able to look at both ends of the spectrum and being able to kind of hold them in my mind and think about them and challenge myself with them. So um, one is by a guy named John Carlton, who's like a very, um, very well known, I would say even famous uh, copywriter, sales copywriter. And his quote about money is, see if I can remember this. I don't want to have, wait, I don't want to have any problems that money can solve. Something to that effect. And I think that could be a great reframe, is that, you know, money is a tool and you can use it many different ways, but one way that you can use money is to solve problems. Not all your problems, certainly, right? Like we all know, we know that. You can't solve everything with money. But mostly you can. And even the things that you can't solve all the way, let's say someone is diagnosed, like my father was a few years ago with stage four throat cancer with not a great prognosis. Um, then in that case, yeah, no, maybe money can't solve that. But what it can do is it can pay for your loved one or yourself to see the absolute best doctors and to go to the absolute best clinics with the most cutting edge research and therapies anywhere on the planet. And even if it doesn't cure the cancer, in that instance or in that example, money can buy you hope. And so even if it doesn't delay the inevitable, money can be used as a tool to buy you hope, to give you hope, to give your loved ones hope. And there are many other examples of ways that money can be used as a tool. So 
don't worry, all is not lost if you're not motivated by money. If you don't want to get rich, that's okay. That's okay. Um, it's not my motivation either. It does not drive me one bit. In fact, when I, in the past, when I, in the times where I have focused on making money and focused on setting, you know, some, you know, giant financial goals and work towards those as my like main career goals, it actually does the opposite. It completely shuts me down. I end up feeling depressed. Um, I get super anxious. I feel confused and I just get like stuck. Um, and so I've learned that I can't focus on money. I have to focus on other things. And you know, over the years, I've I've uncovered, discovered, you know, learned for myself that the thing that I really want, that I desire most, um, is freedom and independence. It's freedom to be able to, you know, we homeschool our, our children. Um, my wife does not work. She does not work outside the home, um, so she's with the kids all day. And um, you know, three or four days a week, we go do things together as a family that otherwise we would not be able to do if I did not have the freedom and independence to do it, right? We can do things like spend an afternoon on a Tuesday at the zoo or go to the ranch on a Monday and spend all day there um, or just go travel or spend time together, just play soccer with the kids for a few hours in the morning because I don't have to go to a job, right? I don't have to show up somewhere at 8 a.m. And, and, and clock in which is an incredible blessing and privilege. Like I'm so just almost bewildered by my good fortune. Um, and I know that I am not, like it, like I don't have this freedom and independence because of, because I am more than anyone else or because I'm special in some way that other people are not or because I have some capabilities that only I have. That, that's not it at all. Um, rather, it's, first of all, I, I learned that I'm not motivated by money, and then I put the time in to find out what is it that I'm motivated by, and then I used that, and I have fixated on, on that, which is, you know, freedom and independence. I'm motivated to have freedom and independence, and to always have freedom and independence. Um, and so I strive, right? And so I, I work hard, and I and I set goals and I plan and I surround myself with people who are positive and good and kind and hardworking and who also are aspirational, who have big goals themselves and who prioritize their families and then inspire me, right? So I know I'm, I'm rambling, but it's just been, I've been reflecting on this since that conversation yesterday. And I, cause I didn't at, in the moment, quite know what to say or how to help and and I don't want to lose the lesson and I don't think I was much help and so now you know, I'm making an effort to to learn what I can from the experience and, and I formulated my thoughts and I, and this video is the result. So I hope it's helpful. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye guys.